Dior 60D, it's an 18 megapixel digital SLR camera from Canon. It features an APS-C sensor and it also shoots full HD movies. The EOS 60D has a key new feature which is the Vary Angle LCD. This is the first time this feature has been seen on Canon Digital SLR and it allows interesting and alternative views of how you can use the camera in terms of positioning at low or high angles or particularly valuable when you're shooting movie mode. The EOS 60D fits in Canon's mid-range and is really suitable for advanced amateurs and people seeking to make use of the EOS movie functionality. The key technologies in the camera really come down to the, the core technologies that, are, that kind of make up most of the EOS range. So that means the Canon CMOS sensor, the DIGIC4 image processing engine, the IFCL metering system. It has a really capable nine-point autofocus system. And for the first time in an EOS camera in this category, we're introducing the use of SD cards, including SDXC cards. The IFCL metering system uses a dual layer sensor. This means that actually it's able to sense color information as well as just brightness. And it's the use of this color information combined with the brightness that helps the system produce more accurate exposures um, more of the time. Particularly things that have been troublesome in the past have been subjects with a high quantity of red throughout the scene. So if you're taking pictures of strawberries, tomatoes, these kind of things, then the metering in the past would tend to get the exposure a little bit wrong. IFCL, with its color sensitivity, is able to detect these colors, which ends in a much better exposure when you're shooting those kind of scenes. The EOS 60D uses a nine-point autofocus system. The, all nine points are sensitive um, as cross-type sensors with lenses of f5.6 aperture. The center sensor, when you fit an f2.8 or faster lens, becomes a higher precision sensor, so you'd have the eight regular f5.6 ones around the edge, and the center one is a high precision f2.8 sensor. The camera has a very angle LCD. The LCD can be opened out from the back of the body to face you, or you can turn it round so you can put it back against the body so it looks like any other SLR, with the LCD facing out. But because it's very angle, you have these increased uh, shooting opportunities. And that comes down to the fact that you can twist the LCD so you can it can face down towards the ground. And if you're holding the camera above your head, you can now frame your subject correctly. Also, if you're working in the macro world, shooting small things at low level, putting the camera right down to the ground and being able to look down on the LCD, that's really, really helpful for your photography. And if you're going to make your own movies and shoot yourself on camera, being able to turn the camera, the LCD all the way round so it faces you means you can actually see what the camera's recording whilst you're in front of the camera. The camera has a mode dial lock. This is a simple button you press to allow you to turn the mode dial itself and change the shooting mode. On the camera's top plate, right next to the shutter button and in easy reach there's four buttons dedicated for autofocus for the drive mode for the metering mode and your iso speeds there's also a small but extra button which allows you to illuminate the display so if you're going to shoot in the dark you can see what the settings are the EOS 60D has a new multi-control dial this is a combination of the joystick type controller and the rear control dial by combining the two in one place it means that you, when you're holding the camera in a portrait orientation, and particularly with a battery grip on, both the ability to change AF points and the exposure compensation or aperture using the outer part of the dial are both possible. In the past, it was always a little bit of a struggle to reach the joystick controller to change your AF points, particularly when working in a vertical orientation. The EOS 60D has, of course, the EOS movie functions. This means a full HD recording at 1920 by 1080 at both 24, 25 frames per second. You can also record at 30 frames per second. If you prefer, you can also shoot at the 720p in 50 and 60 frames per second. Plus also there's a lower resolution VGA, which is great if you just need something quick to upload to the internet. The EOS 60D has the ability to accept plug-in microphones through the microphone input and also you can manually set the recording levels for your sound recording. 
Also new with this camera, you have the option of having the camera process the sound using its built-in wind cut filter. You just select that from the menus. For people who shoot raw images with the camera, you can process the images using the camera itself by adjusting the brightness, the white balance on the camera LCD. There's pretty much the full set of settings that you would have available to you in DPP, and this allows you to create a JPEG. So if you're out on assignment shooting RAWs and you need to be able to quickly produce a JPEG for sending either for transmission or to upload to a website, you can do it with the camera. The EOS 60D has a built-in flash. The built-in flash is more than just a pop-up flash. This one is a Speedlight Master and control up to two groups of Speedlight flashes. So, to sum up, the EOS 60D, it is a new 18 megapixel camera that shoots up to 5.3 frames per second. It has the EOS Movie to record full HD movies, and it has a high ISO speed of up to 12,800 for its ability to shoot in almost near dark conditions. The camera can also process images that are shot in the RAW mode into JPEGs in camera.